this is an interesting exhibition for me. It was a nice opportunity to get friends together to support Shelley in the gallery because it's a terrific spot and it's nice to have a good gallery in Mossman. It's really nice that we have a new gallery in Mossman and Mossman needed five of us. We got together, we've all been friends for a long time, and we got together and thought, it would be wonderful if we could put our work in this new gallery. And the joy is that now I'm 81, I'm more passionate about it than ever. I think it is incredibly important. This is lacking in Mossman, a really terrific art gallery. And I'm very honored to be invited to take part in this. The previous 40 years, is I've gone through making my own pastels, recording architecture and corrugated iron and all those sort of things close-ups of agriculture, I suppose. I suddenly realised that I could go out in the car and draw, that I would drive round and round and round and round, finally find spots where I could sit. So I could sit in the car and draw, and then I'd come home to the studio and paint from those drawings. Thus the three down the end, which are really sort of exercises in doing that very thing, and also in using spaces of colour sort of flattening things a bit and using spaces of colour and glazing. I, I did quite a bit of glazing, which I hadn't done much of before, using acrylics. I've done quite a few trips to the Outback with Judy and some other artists and there is something quite special about being out in the landscape. For me it's a spiritual experience and it gives you such a feeling for this land. It gives you such an understanding of the land. Ceramics is so incredibly complicated, but it is all a lot of fun and it is always a bigger adventure to me than my paintings. Well, these are from a little cove down on the south coast, not far from Jeringol. I've been down there to stay with friends on a number of occasions and I love that little beach and that little cove. It's absolutely private and secluded and I've done a lot of drawings down there. And these two works are both the result of those drawings. The first one's Barn Mountain. I was just wrapped in that idea of looking through shade into the sunlight and looking very much downhill. The next one's this, um, this little country road near Grace Vale. And I love that idea of the foreshortening of the road, of tilting up, and it just made it more two-dimensional, I suppose. And it was just one of those nice things, and you use the foreground trees to cut into it, so you're looking through, and that helps make the sunshine. A spectacular environment out there, and you wonder why so many people go to the outback. Just the silence, the majesty of it all, the colour, it's just such an incredible place to be. This painting was done at Bathurst, which is on a hill, just as you come into Bathurst on the right. And that's looking down into the valley, and actually Bathurst is just here. I use mostly earthy tones, so that landscape at Bathurst sort of appealed to me because it has got that sort of slight strawiness about it. It is such a, a beautiful view looking down and when you get that afternoon sun hitting that side. And that's what's wonderful too in the outback. At the end of the day you get this brilliant orange on top of the hills. It's spectacular. Of course, as you can see with the work, it is all influenced by nature. They all refer to perhaps the forest floor, what you might find there, some tracks that animals made, insect trails. What I find a wonderful freedom about working on a round surface is I might have some rocks up on top on the vessel and some at the bottom or tree trunks might be upside down and I find I can do that really easy with my ceramics. When I have a vessel that I'm decorating, I like to have some texture on it. I'm enjoying about the ceramics by mixing the colors. I don't want to only replicate what I see. I have to interpret. These were probably the first pieces that I did where I decided I'll do a lot more detail work. I highlight with clear glaze and the rest is more about the texture and the colour. This one, obviously a big landscape, that came from Eastern McDonnell Ranges. That is acrylic painted on perspex. It's the orange perspex underneath, and acrylic on it and a little bit of collage. I've taken some artistic licence and invented 
So and I put one of them in at night time in the moonlight uh, because it's very moody. And the other one is more daylight, but it's very low tide. But this, they, I think both works still have the captured the nature of the place, that little secluded cove. It's been good for us to have this opportunity to have all our works together. That's been great fun. Because we've spent many years painting together the landscape, it's just nice to have an opportunity to put it up on the walls. So thank you, everybody. Thank you for coming. We've had great fun. And thank you for the speakers. You were all fantastic. <laughs>